Good morning traders and this is your DAX day trade setup for today. So this is the third day in a row where we have sellers stepping in um, off the top. So uh, for me, if those of you that have been following me for a while, looks like a story of three. A uh, story of three is where I see three tails in a row. Doesn't matter on the time frame, but I see three tails like that, which is indicating to me that bears are trying to take control here. So you know, we do have uh, non-farm payroll data coming up in the US today. Uh, the euro is all over the place at the moment, so the dollar is uh, also sort of all over the place right now. So there's a lot transpiring at the moment, and this little picture here is not something that I like. So it's starting to look to me like this bottom gap, or let's just rather aim for the gap before we do anything else, but this bottom gap is definitely looking to me like it's on the card, which is 12.334. Okay, so the story is pretty simple. You can see the bulls, oh, we're a little bit zoomed in here, okay. So you can see uh, we've got this double bottom, okay, and has that materialized? Let's just have a look at that first. Nope, typical DAX fashion, it is falling short. Okay, but you look at this other level of resistance here, which is now the third time of this level one, two, three. So is it third time lucky or third time unlucky? And uh, at the moment, this is looking like third time unlucky to me. So we had a proper rejection bar off the open, came down to the bottom here, retest this level, gave us opportunity to buy again. Moving average is flat on the three, and we are sitting between these two levels. Okay, so this is pretty much a range. This is the top of my range, it's one, two, seven, four, eight. And this is the bottom of my range, which is one, two, five, one, seven. Until we break this either way, I'm out of this market. I'm not interested in trading this thing at the moment. So um, it is not looking very rosy in my view anyway. Okay, if we come down to the hour, you get a little bit more clarity. Uh, the red bars are more dominant than the green bars at the moment. Not that that's an indicator of any sort, but it does give you the impression that there are more sellers here than there are buyers. Okay, so yeah, it is range bound. Not really interested in trading ranges. Ranges always hurt me. So nine times out of ten, if I come down here and start buying off the bottom of the range, it'll break the bottom. Or if I break buy the break, it'll come down and break the bottom of the range. So I tend to stay away from ranges. I will only start buying when I see the retest of the range. Okay, so for me at the moment, this is the sit on hands. There is a massive amount of data coming out today. We have uh, had Trump that's threatening to, to ban um, Chinese apps at the moment, which is influencing the, the Asian session. And then you have um, the, st the stimulus package in the US, which is they're still haggling over. We've got non-farm payrolls coming out today. So there's quite a few catalysts that could drive the markets in any direction right now, including sideways. So uh, for me, the DAX is sit on my hands, um, probably take a long weekend on this. And it is actually a long weekend in South Africa, so we get an extra long weekend. So anyway, that's my confused state on the DAX. It uh, is confused, <laughs> range bound until we start breaking through these ranges and even if we do break this top range the best I've got is 12,930 and if we break the bottom range the best I've got is this gap to the downside of 12,330 uh, that's not really attractive it's not even a one to one trade so um, I think I'll just uh, stay out of this for now okay hope it helps you somewhat and we'll catch up with you later cheers for now